Welcome to PPT Genius. Happy Makkar Sakranti to all. So, on this occasion of Makkar Sakranti, let's learn how to create an animated kite and a flying kite. So, let's see. So, let's click and add the first slide. Now, I'll go to the layout and in the layout, I am going to select this blank layout. Now, I am going to insert a triangle. All right. So here, insert shape and I want right angle triangle. So here is a right angle triangle. So this kind of triangle we need. So here, let's. Perfect. Okay. Now in the next, I'm going to press the control V to make the exact copy of it. And here I'm going to rotate it. And how am I going to rotate? Flip horizontally like this. Perfect. Like this. So now in the next step, I am going to press the control V again. And this time, I am going to rotate it by 90 degrees. And then I'm going to increase its size like this. And Let's. Perfect. Now I'm going to press the Ctrl D to make the exact copy of it. And now I'm going to flip it horizontal and again placing it here. Perfect. So we have made an outline of the carpet. Now again I'm going to insert another shape that is triangle, but this time this kind of triangle I'm going to use. And here this kind of triangle and let's place it let's place it over here and I'm going to set the outline to be no outline okay for all the shapes all together I'm going to select all these shapes and for the all the shapes I'll go to the shape format and the shape outline is going to be no outline. Now I am going to change the color. So I'm by pressing the control key, this triangle and this triangle, I'm going to select some dark shade. So I'll go to fill more color. Okay. And I'll go to the standard format. And in the standard format, I'm going to select this darker shade. And I'm going to press the OK key. Perfect. Now for these two triangles, again by pressing the control key, I'm going to fill another color and it is going to be a lighter one, this one. Perfect. And for this triangle, I'm going to use the yellow shade. All right. And I'm going to send this triangle to the back. Perfect. Now in the next step, what are we going to do? We are going to give some animation. So an outline of the kite is ready. So this triangle, I want to give the animation. I want it to, <coughs> excuse me, fly in. But from which direction do I want? From the top right corner, this. For this triangle, I want it to fly in top left. For this triangle, I want it to fly in from which direction? From the bottom right. So here is the bottom right. Okay. And for this triangle, I want it to fly in and go to the effect options. Bottom left. So where is bottom left? Here it is. Okay. Let's remove this extra triangle. And for this triangle, again, fly in which direction? Bottom. And where is the bottom? Perfect. It's already bottom. Now we'll go to the animation pane. Here is our animation pane. And I'm going to select all the animations together. And I'm going to select start with previous so all the animations are going to happen at once so let's have a preview once yeah 
perfect now in the next step i am going to give it more animations so for that i am going to select all the shapes at once okay and let's bring it downward now i will select the add animation effect and in the add animation effect i'm going to select this custom path let's zoom out a little bit and the custom path is going to be from here then here then here and over here don't forget to press double click okay but i want this animation to happen for 10 seconds and now let's have a preview perfect so all these animations when are the, when is it going to happen it is going to happen just after the previous like this start after previous all these animations but all should be together right so you can see they all are starting at different different points so no we don't want them to happen at different different points i want them all to start with previous let's do it and let's delay it for 50 seconds 0.50 seconds all right now let's have a preview one so that we can see if there is any error or not yeah there is no error perfect beautiful <coughs> and now let's add some background okay so we'll go to the design in the design i will go to the format background here and in the format background i will go to the gradient fill in gradient fill i'm going to select this kind of gradient fill and in this kind of gradient fill i'm going to select the radial one only and the direction is going to be 